Police say that they take assault very seriously. But a group of Lancashire mums have had enough of the empty promises and platitudes from Lancashire police and following a spate of violence against their children, they have now decided to step up and protect the kids in the area themselves. The mums have actually taken to patrolling the local areas where the attacks against multiple children by what's thought to be the same group of bullies have taken place. Now, the attacks have been recorded by some of the bullies that were at the scene and shared online in an additional attempt to ridicule the young teens being attacked, which has become known as a patterning. Some of the assaults have been pretty brutal. Well, by teenager standards anyway. And the parents believe Lancashire police are simply not doing enough to tackle the issues and don't seem to be taking the assaults and antisocial behaviour seriously. One of the mothers to a 14-year-old said that her daughter was set upon by a group of girls and was viciously beaten. During the attack, the 14-year-old was able to call her mum. She said, I got a phone call with her absolutely screaming, Mum, please, they've got me. They've got my hair. My hair is falling out. Now they've stomped all over me. I could hear what the girls were saying. Kick her again. Kick her again. She's down. Kick her again. They punched her numerous times and stamped on her head. They all took turns. They pretended to let her up, but then hit her back to the ground and did it again. The doctor actually said that one more stomp to the head would have most likely taken her life. The woman says the police were called as the assault was happening. We rang 999 while she was on the phone. We begged them. Nobody appeared. The police never arrived for 48 hours. She says despite calling 999, there was no urgency whatsoever, despite police being aware of the group having caused trouble across the town, and it took weeks for her daughter's attackers to be arrested. Two of the girls involved have now written a letter of apology after being given a conditional caution. However, she doesn't believe it's a case of the police not caring. She said, I got the impression the police believed it was pointless, that nothing will come of it which, let's be honest, is the police not caring. In a statement, Lancashire Police said, where there is no ongoing risk or threat or, or, or crime in action, we will arrange to visit people at a time convenient to them so we can investigate and solve crime and deliver the best outcomes for all. Lancashire Police say they are proud of their proactive approach to policing in Chorley and elsewhere. We regularly run operations aimed at tackling antisocial behaviour as part of our aim to deliver an outstanding service to the public and build confidence. We recognise the impact that these incidents have had on the victims and their families, and we've done a huge amount to both support them and to keep them updated. However, still nothing really seems to be being done about the spate of violence in the local area. Some of the parents said that they are keen to exact their own form of justice against the teenagers. I'm glad they haven't done but something has got to give before a family is going to end up ruined. Is somebody going to end up dead, whether it be one of our children or one of their children? Then are they going to wake up and do something about it? It's too little, too late by then, as far as I'm concerned, said one of the mothers. And so, in order to try and prevent their children being beaten up anymore, the group of mums have taken to patrolling the park areas themselves where the attacks generally happen. One of the mums said, I can't believe it's come to this, but I understand why it has, because our children aren't being protected. I've got to make sure that if my daughter's down here, that I've got to do the police's job, I've got to make sure she is okay. Look what we're having to resort to. We entrust the police to be there to protect our children, and because they can't do that, we're going to have to do it. Now, the mothers all claim that police foot patrols are practically non-existent, which they generally have been for years now anyway. And they say that when they call 999, nothing happens. Now, it's a sad state of affairs when things have to come to the parents patrolling for the safety of their children. And I personally do feel their anger and their want to protect their children, but I worry that these mums will be called vigilantes, which by the definition of the word they are, but will be vilified themselves for simply trying to protect their children. I can't see it would take much for 
one of them to be accused of assault themselves against one of the children assaulting their kids. But unfortunately, this is the world we currently live in where the perpetrators of crimes have more rights than the victims of crimes. The police literally should be seeing this and thinking, shit, these mums just want to protect their kids, but if they're not careful, they're going to be charged with something. We need to put a stop to this and protect the mums from being charged with anything by sending in our own patrols to the park. You know, actually hear about a problem and do something to fix it rather than simply trying to ignore it and blame other people. I'm sure it wouldn't be too difficult for the force to make recommendations for a short while that any passing patrol, patrol vehicle that's not on an immediate job should patrol the park. It looks like the paths are wide enough for council vehicles to drive through, so I don't see why the police couldn't do the same in the name of public protection.